just gotten worse to the point where uh, the bike's not idling at startup. So, um, and there's a misfire. So I'm going to have to, uh, I think I'm going to have to take him to the dealer here in Kodachiba. Unable to diagnose our intermittent idling issue, Chad resigned himself to visiting the local Honda dealer to let them sort out the details. This looks like the right place. <laughs> and there we were, bikeless and friendless, alone in the big city. So we grabbed a taxi to a local chuhascaria, where Chad did his best to drown his sorrows in a river of meat. I'm in heaven. Delicious. They just keep bringing more meat. Uh, oh my god, what is that? <laughs> oh, thank you. You got him. I'm terrified to make eye contact because they just keep coming with more and more and more of some messed meat. And I just can't do it. I'm dying here. <laughs> Having beach sweats. Until the onslaught was thankfully interrupted by our mechanic. With pictures of our bike in various states of disassembly, a dirty fuel pump pre filter, and the news that the bike would be ready to pick up in the morning. So Chad ambled back down to Honda signed on the dotted line, and topped off the tank. Now, all that was left was to take it out for a test ride. It is currently 42 degrees Celsius, which is about 108 degrees Fahrenheit, with what I'm guessing is about 98% uh, humidity. After a quick test run down to the sweltering little town of Antonina, on the picturesque Paranawa Bay, we did what weirdos do and paid a visit to the local cemetery, where we marveled over the ominous intergitado painted in bold letters across many of the vaults, which literally translates to interdicted, prohibited, or forbidden. Unable to find an explanation online, in either English or Portuguese, we reached out to a local friend who was likewise baffled. This one says the same thing. Departing the Forbidden Cemetery, we made one last stop in Antonina for a quick cup of coffee next to a wood-burning locomotive, which is remarkably still in use.
<laughs> Chao chicos. Chao. You left them hanging. Oh, I left them hanging on the phone. Oh, I'm sorry. See? What? As the train departed, the rain arrived. I ain't even gonna complain about the rain. Either. So we bid farewell to our new friends and embarked on the scenic route back to Curitiba on the historic PR-410, better known as the Estrada da Graciosa, through some of the best preserved stretch of Atlantic forest remaining along the Brazilian coast. But first, it was time for Chad to get out his rain gear and uh, for me to close my vents. Whew, shit, started coming down. God damn. The historic cobblestone sections of highway, polished by time and thousands of tires, are, as I'm sure you guessed, slippery when wet. But uh, luckily for us, the weekend traffic, coupled with our arch nemesis of never-ending road construction, would keep our speed to a minimum. Not afraid to assume pole position, Chad unabashedly passed the conga line of cagers, then did his best to get out of their way as quickly as possible. Keying off and keeping pace with the locals, we hit the portal for the obligatory photo, which pretty much turned out like crap, before hitting the highway back to the city. After a successful test ride, we called it an early evening for our final night in Curitiba before heading north in the morning to parts unknown on two wheels. <laughs> 